Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. A pleasant afternoon from Ritchie County, West Virginia, Ritchie County High School, site of this LKC East matchup for Rome County, the LKC West, Ritchie County. Doubleheader action here on this Saturday afternoon. Gorgeous weather from Schofield and Butcher Field here on the campus of Ritchie County High School. Tremendous facilities here for the high school in class single A alongside the rest of the crew here. Swalby with us, front of the camera. My name is Andrew Miller, ready to bring you guys game number one of two here this afternoon. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First off for the Rebels, Richie Kenny High School leading off will be Isaiah Lambert. He'll be the shortstop. The catcher batting second is Turner Shriver. Batting third, the third baseman, Garrett Flesher. Batting cleanup and pitching in game one, Tony McBrayer. DH hitting fifth is Brace Brayson Hayes batting for the right fielder Zane Bennell. Batting six will be the first baseman Bryce Satterfield. Batting seventh, Ryan Weekly. He'll be in left field. Aiden Sellers batting eighth. He'll be out in center field. And the second baseman Landon Shiplett batting ninth. For Rome County, leading off will be Carter Kender. He bat in center field. Cam Cumston gets the start on the mound in game number one, hitting second. Hitting third, and at shortstop is Cam Ash. Cleanup hitter Jacob Greathouse behind home plate. Batting fifth, Preston Green at second base. Batting sixth, first baseman Noah Jett. Batting seventh, over at third base is Nate Martin. Batting eighth, Gage Saunders out in left field. And Leo Rogers getting the start in right field, and he will bat ninth. Had a little late start here, obviously trying to get everything set up. They do not have a press box yet. They are currently building the press box as we speak. And it is a windy, windy afternoon. We are hoping that our canopy does not fly away on us here this afternoon. If that doesn't happen, then everything else is okay and we are ready to go. So digging in first is Carter Kinder. We are underway. Game number one, Tony McBrayer, the right-handed pitcher. And immediately the wind goes wild on us. McBrayer, a junior. Missing low on his first opportunity. Second pitch called strike at the D's. One and one the count. Kinder having a tremendous season this year. Boy, and that wind is suddenly whipping terribly. This one inside almost clipped Kinder. And Carter out in front, two and one. Wind whipping around here at this field, Schofield Butcher Field. Moving from right to left across the diamond here. 2-1 pitch. Kinder rips this one over towards second. Hits off of the glove of Shiflet. And Kinder heads to first safely on the air. That was a hard hit rip shot. And it hit right off of the palm of the glove. And Roan County with the leadoff rudder aboard. Cam Cumston coming to the plate says McBrayer will check first. Kinder obviously has the speed, has the wheels as a leadoff runner. And he is an aggressive base runner. They'll check again on Kinder. Obviously, they have seen Carter. Roan Kelly was in the midst of a five-game winning streak. Lost yesterday on the road at St. Mary's. Close loss, 8-5. to five. They are now 500 on the year, 7-7. Seven and seven. Ritchie County just four and eight coming into this contest. Both teams low as far as games are concerned. Both teams falling victim to the rain out situations in the last few weeks. They're gonna send Kinder on the pitch. Gets away from the catcher. Driver goes back to the backstop and gets it, but Kinder advancing into scoring position. One and oh, the count.
1 0 pitch missing a little tight. 2 and 0 to Cumston. These first three batters in Roan County's order have really come on strong. Especially in this five game winning streak that they were in. McBrayer, ever mindful of the speed of Kinder on the base pass, steps off of the rubber. They're going to send Kinder on the pitch. Here comes the throw down. Not in time, and Kinder swipes third. You have to trust me on that one. 3-0 the count to Cumston. Cam squaring to bunt. Backs off, looks at one down Main Street, three and one. Good fight back pitch for McBrayer. Richie Caddy with victories this year over Calhoun County, Doddridge County, Ravenswood. That's a big one, seven, six, and then Magnolia. As drawing the walk is Cumston, runners at first and third. Nobody out to begin here in the top of the first inning, and that win just continues to wreak havoc. Luckily, we've got our canopy tied down to our equipment. Cam Ash stepping into the batter's box. They're going to send Cam, Cam Cumston down, and they're going to get him and looking to get Kinder off the bag now. Boy. Cumston took off early. McBrayer stepped off of the bag. I thought that Cam might try to get into a rundown to allow the run to score, but Kinder could not get off the bag, so immediately one out now. Still the runner at third. Healthy swing by Ash. Just a piece of it fouling it off. Oh, and one the count. Oh, one delivery, swing and a miss down the middle on that fastball from McBrayer. Ash behind in the count. Oh, and two. Breaking pitch, swing and a miss, and Ash goes down on three straight pitches, out number two. And that will bring up Jacob Greathouse, the catcher, cleanup hitter for the Raiders. First pitch turned on and ripped down the line. Will it stay fair? It will, that will score the run. Great house in to second with a stand-up RBI double. And the Raiders striking first. Great house really got a hold of that pitch, turned on the fastball and ripped it down the line in left field. Two out double, Roan County on the board and that will bring up Preston Green. McBrayer again stepping off of the back of the rubber. Comes with the pitch, soft speed, and out in front of it was Preston. Owen won the count. Breaking pitch again, Green out in front of it. Runner in scoring position, top of the first, Rump County leading one nothing after the RBI double for Greathouse, who stands out at second. Healthy lead right now, McBrayer gives a couple looks. Greathouse gonna move on the pitch, out in front of it again though, three straight breaking balls, and down goes Green. Rump County strikes first though in the top of the first inning as they lead it after a half inning of play, one to nothing. Break to take, we'll be back after these messages. 
I'm Circuit Judge Anita Harold Ashley, and I'm proud to sponsor this ad supporting the Roan County Raiders. I've spent a lot of time participating in sporting events in my lifetime as a player, a Raider parent, and a fan. I've observed there are lots of ways people enjoy the games. It might be like my dad, who quietly studied the game to catch stats, or my dear mom, who gained a reputation for yelling at the refs. Or the fan may be there primarily to enjoy the band or the cheerleaders. But it's clear, we're all rooting for the Raiders. Let's win. Paid for by the Committee to Re-Elect Judge Anita Harold Ashley, Kate J. Burbank, Treasurer. Hi, I'm Ben Ashley of Ashley Insurance, where we're building a community of great insurance products and great people. What does that mean? Well, as a client of ours, you'll enjoy perks like quick quotes and personalized policies. We shop for the best prices across multiple companies. And most importantly, if something bad happens, you call our team and speak directly with us. So join our insurance community today. Call 304-927-2175 or visit ashleyinsurers.com. This preventive dental care tip comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental, conveniently located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. Dental professionals recommend brushing twice a day, every day, with a fluoride toothpaste for two minutes and flossing once a day, every day as well. This easy, affordable preventive dental care routine can save you money by promoting good dental health and preventing costly dental treatment. Call Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 for your dental appointment. Entering inning at number one, bottom of the first to come, Ritchie County to the plate. Roan County striking first with one in the top of the inning. One run on the RBI double by Jacob Greathouse. One hit, one error defensively for the Rebels, and one left on base. To the bottom of the inning we go. Let's check Roan County's defensive order. Pitching here is Cam Cumston behind on plate. Jacob Greathouse, Noah Jett at first, Preston Green at second, Cam Ash. At shortstop, third baseman is Nate Martin. Gage Saunders out in left field, center fielder Carter Kinder. And Leo Rogers out in right. Isaiah Lambert, the shortstop, leading it off for Roan County in the, or Richie County, sorry, in the bottom of the inning. Cumston rocks and fires, misses low on the first pitch. 1-0 oh, the count. It is a beautiful day. 60 degrees, sunny with no humidity, but there is a nasty breeze coming through. Cumston rocks and fires a little upstairs on the next pitch, 2 and 0. Oh. And this one, breaking pitch misses low. Turf field here at Schofield and Butcher Field. A couple years ago to our right, Schofield Memorial Stadium. They got turf then, got turf here on the baseball facility as well. Just great stuff. Compton behind in the count, three and zero. Oh. Fires a strike down the middle, take sign for Lambert. Three one the count. Three one pitch fouled into the cage. Cumston fighting back after going behind in the count three zero. Here comes the wind up payoff pitch inside, and it is going to clip Lambert on the inside of the right arm, and he will take his base. So Cumston fought back nicely, but boy, I tell you, Lambert holding on to his right arm as he took a nasty shot on that inside pitch. And checking on Lambert. I don't know if they're going to give him the base on a hit by pitch or was that a foul ball that ricocheted off of the bat and hit him? Because he is still at the plate with the bat in his hands. So I may have spoken too soon here, I tell you. Lambert really working on that shoulder.
Now the umpires got together and they said it did hit him first. So Lambert will take his base at first. Coach Buddy up and out of the dugout, double checking on the official call there. Gets his response from the home plate umpire, and we're ready to go here in the bottom of the first. One nothing, Roan County leading. And the catcher, Turner Shriver, coming to the plate. Pitch to Shriver, fastball upstairs. 1 0 the count. Two on the docket here today. All we're waiting for is that wind to die down a little bit for good, if we can get it. Fastball, pitch missing inside. 2 and 0 the count. Cumston behind to the first couple of batters here. Driver squaring to Bunts. He'll send the runner. He'll back off. Greathouse had to double clutch the throw. It was perfect on the mark, but with that double clutch, that allowed Lambert to head to second with the stolen base. Three or two and one the count, sorry. Runner in scoring position for Richie here at the bottom of the first inning. This one ripped down the line at third in between the shortstop and the third baseman. They're going to send the runner around. The throw coming in, not in time, and that throw will allow the runner to head out to second. And the throw from Greathouse gets into the outfield. Good back up by Rogers to keep Shriver at second. But Shriver able to come through here with the RBI sing or double. Score tied, one apiece, no outs here in the bottom of the first inning. Garrett Flesher, the third baseman. Oh, that one gets way upstairs. Great house with a nice play behind home plate. Swing and a miss on the next offering, one and one. Next pitch missing low, two and one the count to Flesher. Pitch on the outside corner called strike two, evening the count at two and two. Two two pitch breaking ball into the glove, swing and a miss, and down goes Flesher for out number one. Very nice breaking pitch by Cumston. Bring up the cleanup hitter and the pitcher, Tony McBrayer. Driver away from the bag at second. First pitch ripped down the line at third, fielded on a nasty hop. Martin with the long throw across, and he'll make the out. Very nice play by Martin over at third. Uh, we'll sacrifice Shriver over to third now with two outs. And it'll bring up the designated hitter, Brayson Hayes. Pitch number one missing away. Hayes batting in the order for the right fielder, Zane Bunnell. This one popped up over in right field, shallow area. Rogers making the, his way in and makes the grab for out 
number three. After one complete inning, both teams with one hit, both teams with one run. We'll move to the top of the second. Rome County to the plate after this. There are people in this country work hard every day. You work hard for your money, and lately the cost of everything has soared, making some of those dreams and goals even harder to reach. And at Board Depew Realty, we realize that. We understand that buying a house can be financially stressful, especially with all the hurdles lenders require. That's where we come in. With our small staff of four, we offer you over 100 years of combined experience. We work as a group to get you closed and in your home quickly. We'll find creative ways when others may have given up to make your dream a reality. But most importantly, we remain your friend after the sale is complete. We'll continue to help you long after the deal is closed. And that is what we take pride in. It's more than just a job to us at Board to Pew Realty. It's a job that we love, and we love the people who allow us into their lives. Buying or selling a home can be stressful, but not if you let Board to Pew guide you. You work hard for your money, and how you spend it We have played one here in game number one. Roan County and Ritchie County tied at one apiece. Both teams with RBI doubles in inning number one. Top of the second. Roan County will have five, six, seven. Sorry, six, seven, eight. Noah Jett will lead it off here over the first base dugout housing Ritchie County. This will be uh, Noah Jett's, Nate Martin, and Gage Saunders due up first for the Raiders. McBrayer rocks and fires chopper towards third. Backhanded very nicely by Flesher. The long throw pulls Satterfield off the bag at first. And with Jed hustling down the line, he is able to get back to the bag before Satterfield could recover. That was a very difficult play. Tremendous backhand, though, by Flesher before launching it just left of the bag. And Rome County with the leadoff runner aboard for the second straight inning. That will bring up Nate Martin. McBrayer, first pitch missing up in the zone. A little late on that fastball swing. Martin, I think, was sitting on breaking ball. Count evens at one and one. Rare misses high and tight on the 1-1, one, 2-1 one, and one the count. Last time we wa watched Roan County play, it was Nate Martin getting a really nice victory on the mound, going seven innings the distance in that 3-1 victory over Clay County back on Tuesday evening over at Clay County with Maisel Park. Martin, 3-1, gave up just four hits scattered throughout the ball game and that one earned run. Two and two, the count. McBrayer comes with the pitch, soft speed, swing and a miss. And the third strikeout issued here in the first couple of innings for the junior, Tony McBrayer. And I'll bring up Gage Saunders. First pitch to Saunders, up the eyeballs. Want to know the count? 
This one rides high and tight on Saunders. Two and O. Oh. Leo Rogers in the on deck circle for Rome County. One one here in the top of the second. Two O oh pitch finds the mark at the knees. Two and one. McBrayer giving tabs on Jet. Oh, uh, not off the bag much there. Two one pitch swing and just a foul into the glove. Healthy cut that time from Saunders. Found a pitch he really liked. Two and two though. One out, one on in the top of the second. 2-2 two -two pitch, pop foul out of play. Nice piece of hitting to stay alive. McBrayer comes with an off-speed pitch, and Saunders couldn't hold back long enough. Back-to-back -back Ks for McBrayer, four now in the first two innings. And two outs in the top of the second. Jed at first, and Leo Rogers coming to the plate. Wings healthy cut on the first offering. Rogers getting the start here. Jeb Painter injured a bit. So the freshman going to take advantage and stepping up aggressive, missing though on the first two. Fastballs down the middle. Roan County back to the top of the order with Kinder on deck. And the 0-2 pitch, that one missing low. Good eye by Rogers. And the 1-2 pitch, swing and a miss on the outside corner. And it's three strikeouts in a row for McBrayer. One on board, but no damage for Roan County in the top half. We move to the bottom of the second with Richie County to the plate after these messages. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual deals on wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at calhounbanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at calhounbankswv. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Rome County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Moving into the bottom of the second inning, Roan County and Ritchie County tied at one apiece. Cam Cumston ready to go to work here. Six, seven, and eight in the order for Ritchie County. Bryce Satterfield leaning in first, the first baseman. Looks on at a pitch outside of the zone. One O pitch slapped into the netting over at the first base side. Down evens at one and one. It is a beautiful day here from Ritchie County. Sun shining, 60 degrees, just a little too breezy for our liking. 
Ice breaking pitch by Cumston. Finds its way to the outside corner. Cam was behind in the count the first couple of batters in the ball game in the first inning. Looks like he is settling in just a little bit here. One, two, breaking ball. Great piece of hitting by Satterfield. Held back on that off-speed pitch, waiting for a breaking ball. Fouls it off. One and two still. Dumpston rocks and fires. This one ripped up the middle. That one will squirt through. You just have to take my word for it as Swolby is working on our canopy still. <laughs> Swolby's had his issues here today. Second base hit of the ball game. That's the one reason I'm so happy that Swolby came here because I can give him grief. And he doesn't have a headset on. Lead-off single for Satterfield. Brings up Ryan Weekly, the left fielder. Swings at the first pitch. This one over towards Ash. Fields it. Steps on the bag. Fires it across. The 6-3 double play by Cam Ash. Beautiful, beautiful play. And that will give Rome County two outs and nobody on. Tremendous play. That's what Rome County did in the Clay County victory. They worked a lot of really good defensive plays. Aiden Sellers now to the plate. Pitch number one missing upstairs. This one ripped over towards Ash again. Fields it on a clean hop, drops it, picks it back up. Not in time to first, though. Well, Ash just made a tremendous play on the 6-3 unassisted double play. And then that one took a nice high hop. Somehow, though, it missed the glove. And when Ash recovered, Sellers was already on first. First pitch to Shiflet, high into the sky. Very shallow center field. Kinder, though, moves in quickly and makes the grab for out number three. We've played two completes. We are tied one apiece. Stop by Spencer Cash Saver to check out our fresh produce, quality meats, and our new grab-and-go deli sliced meats and cheeses. New two-week ads start every other Thursday with the best prices for your budget. Save money and shop local at Spencer Cash Saver. Stop by D&D Motors for great deals on used cars. We have an incredibly diverse and continuously growing inventory to choose from with many makes and models at price points that anyone can afford. D&D Service Department also offers oil changes, tire rotations, and other maintenance on your new purchase. Call D&D for your next service appointment. D&D Motors, located at 276 East Main Street in Spencer. Stop in and see Dan or Donna for your super deal today. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon, and close on Sunday. D&D Motors, call 304-519-2157. Since 2019, DW Excavating has been serving Roan and surrounding counties. We offer services including, but not limited to, repairing driveways, construction site preparation, drainage solutions, property brush clearing, farm road construction, culvert repair and installation, and utility line installation and repair. We provide free estimates. Check out our Facebook page or contact us at 304-532-2968 for more information. DW Excavating, taking pride in our work and in our community. DW Excavating is a proud supporter of Auburn County High School Athletics. Go Raiders! Into inning number three we go. Roan County and Ritchie County game number one of the doubleheader here today. Just one base hit, a nice double play by Cam Ash. And Roan County out of the inning with no damage, no runs, one hit, one error, and one left on. Back to the top of the order we go. Carter Kinder. Made the final out of the last half inning on the pop fly by Shiflitz. Looks on at ball one outside of the zone. 
Ender reached on an error in the first inning, stole a base, and scored the lone run. And he looks on yet again as this one low in the zone. We have finally calmed Swoby down now as we've got the canopy anchored nicely. So I think he'll be able to catch all of the baseball action. He's looking at a tiny screen. We'll see if he can follow it. In the dirt again, 3-0 and now to Kender. McBrayer, who has had really good control the first couple of innings, missing to the leadoff hitter here in the first three opportunities, finds the mark, though, on the 3-0. Send it right down the middle. This one, chopper towards shortstop, fielded cleanly by Isaiah Lambert and across to Satterfield for the first out. Very nice play by Lambert. First out produced. That will bring up Cumston. This one turned on and hit deep into left field. And a nice play there. By the left fielder, Ryan Weekly, covering some ground there. Very nice swing, though, from Cumpson. He took that one for a ride. Quickly, two up, two down in the inning. Bring up Cam Ash. He'll pop this one up over towards left field. That one is going to drop in as Weekly playing a little deeper than he could get to on that little bloop single by Ash. Second base hit of the ball game for Rome County, a two-out single. And the Raiders with a runner aboard. And Jacob Greathouse, the cleanup hitter to the plate. He ripped a double. With the RBI that scored Kinder to get things going offensively for the Raiders back in inning number one. First pitch golfed up into the sky. Over there at shortstop is Lambert standing underneath it. He'll make the grab, and we are out of the top of the third. No damage done with one base hit for the Raiders. And we're still tied after two and a half innings of play. Bottom of the third to come as Richie County headed to the plate. This is Lady Raider volleyball and softball player Mahaley Nicholson for Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Since 2016, ECI has provided West Virginia with top-notch service for both home and commercial needs. We pride ourselves on working closely with our clients to ensure that projects are completed in a timely manner, that customer expectations are met, or in many cases exceeded. Regardless of the job size, we have solutions for everyone. We specialize in septic systems, brush removal, dirt work, asbestos removal, and more. Check us out on the web at www.ecivb.net or contact us for a quote at 304-532-7653. Fax number 304-532-7653. Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Ed Nicholson, owner, West Virginia Contractors License 055775. This is Ashton Rhodes, Chronic Care Manager at Rome County Family Healthcare. Are you struggling to control your blood pressure, lower your A1C, or manage other chronic health conditions? Do you ever feel overwhelmed or unsure after an office visit and need some extra help? If that's you, we can help. Rome County Family Healthcare is now providing chronic care management services for qualifying patients. By enrolling in our services, you will receive one-on-one -on -one consultations, an individualized comprehensive care plan, education, monthly check-ins, and more. All of this will allow you access to your care team easily for questions, concerns, or follow-up. So are you ready to team up and find a healthier version of you? Give me a call at 304-927-8139. My office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Let me help you manage your chronic conditions. Rome County Family Healthcare, healthcare for the entire family. 
Into the bottom of inning number three we go. Tied at one apiece. Rome County got one in the top of the first inning. And Richie County got it back in the bottom half. Some very nice defense in the second for both sides and in the top of the third. So the bottom of the third we go back to the top of the order with the shortstop Isaiah Lambert. First pitch ripped hard, sent over towards Schofield Stadium. 0-1 the count. Lambert on a 3-2 pitch, his first at bat, took one off the shoulder, and he was really struggling to recover from that. Ended up making it to first, stole a base, and ended up heading home on the RBI single from Turner Shriver, who is in the on-deck circle for the Rebels. One and one the count. Comston looks like he's calmed down and settled down since the first popped up in foul. Territory Comston calling Great House off. And Cam will make the first grab. Comston had some control issues in the bottom of the first, but he looks like he has really got those in check. Finding the mark on his breaking pitches. Now Shriver to the plates. In with the RBI single in the first inning. First pitch breaking ball missing up and out. Oh, Cumston lost his footing on the follow-through. Able to get the ball to the plate, sort of. And he's behind in the count now, 2-0. and oh. Just glad he's okay there. He's got the drive foot caught in the turf. And the 2-0 pitch missing low. 3-0 and oh to Shriver now. First of two here today. Of course, a lot of people doubling up here in the last two weeks of the regular season due to all the cancellations we have had because of the West Virginia weather. A four-pitch walk issued to Shriver. And a one-out base runner aboard. In the bottom of the third inning. Happy to know my buddy Swolby has finally calmed down. Garrett Flesher, the third baseman, struck out swinging in the first inning. Checks on the first fastball up at the eyes. 1-0 and the count. one -oh pitch missing low. Humston behind again, 2-0. And the 2-0 pitch, ooh, that one got away from Cumston as well. Great house behind the plate, another nice defensive play. But for the second straight batter, Cumston is down 3-0. and 3-0 pitch, that one finds the middle of the plate. And here comes that nasty wind again. Three and one. Comston in his peripheral seeing Shriver take an extra step there off of his lead. Cam will step off the back of the rubber. Ready to deliver the three one pitch called. Strike on the inside corner. A nice little breaking ball as Comston went down to three quarter. And now a full count to Flesher. They all pitch, swing, and a miss. And down goes Flesher. Just the second strikeout of the game for Cumston. It was Flesher in the first that he got. Two outs now. And the cleanup hitter and the pitcher, McBrayer. Grounded out on a really nice play in the first inning by Nate Martin. First pitch to McBriar. Missing away. Yeah, Roan County, five-game win streak before last night's close loss at St. Mary's. His team playing with a lot of confidence defensively and swinging the bats nicely on the offensive side. 
McBrayer swinging heavy just above it. One and one the count. Thompson giving a couple of checks. McBrayer calls for time. They're going to send Shriver on the pitch. This one launched straight away center field. Coming in is Kinder. Will he get there in time? Sliding off of one knee. And Kinder able to make the grab. No damage in the bottom of the third. We move to the fourth. Still tied at one apiece. Rose Auto Service in beautiful downtown Arnoldsburg, West Virginia, is a full-service auto center providing you with AC, front end and four wheel alignment, tires, exhaust systems, to basic oil changes and state inspections, and full electrical diagnostic service. Our highly trained technicians with over 40 years of experience between them, Groves Auto Service in Arnoldsburg, West Virginia. 304-655-6765. And be sure to check out our Facebook page. Hi folks, here at Hardman's, we are a full service building material and hardware store. We have it all from nuts and bolts to plumbing, electrical, best look paint, lumber, drywall, furniture, appliances, flooring, and kitchen and bath. Our best look paint is a sure win to brighten up your interior walls or spruce up your exterior. We don't just sell the products, but we deliver and install many of them as well. All of our installers are trained and certified. On top of all that, we know a little something about customer service. We'll greet you with a smile and have the knowledge to help you get the job done right. Stop in and let's tackle your next project together. Hardments, our family serving yours since 1907. Very nice for battle in the game number one here of our doubleheader. Roan County and Ritchie County tied at one apiece. Both teams got RBI doubles in inning number one. Since then, not a lot of damage. Both teams playing very solid defense at the moment. As we move to the top of the fourth inning of play, it'll be 5-6-7 coming to the plate for Roan County. Preston Green, Noah Jett, and Nate Martin to lead it off against McBrayer, who has pitched very well so far, given up just two base hits, has walked only one batter, and he has struck out five here in the first three innings. Green, a strikeout victim back in the first inning of play. And McBrayer ready to go to work here, working strictly from this stretch. First pitch to Green, breaking ball, missing out of the zone. Green a little frustrated with himself after that first at bat. Felt like he swung at some pitches out of the zone. McBrayer did give him nothing but breaking balls and starts him off here in the fourth with one. 1-0 one -oh pitch, dropping again out of the zone. McBrayer has yet to throw a fastball to Preston Green. If you're wondering about our interesting vantage points down the third baseline here, they are building a new press box as we speak. We rolled up here, and you could see some trusses going up. It's going to be a really nice press box. Green ahead in the count now, three and zero. Now McBrayer, for the first time in two at-bats, will fire a fastball to Preston. Green with the take sign on the 3-0 count. Jerome County's had the leadoff runner aboard in two of the first three innings. Now called strike. And the count now full to Preston, three and two. And a payoff pitch. Swing and a foul ball. Just a piece of it. Very nice hitting. 
Green will stay alive to see a, another pitch. Rome County cl climbing back after going down a four and six early in the season. Or two and six, I should say. 3-2 pitch. This one lined over and toward very shallow right field. It's going to drop in. And after fouling off that 3-2 pitch, he was late on the swing, got just enough of it to get it out of the outstretched hands of Shiflett over at second base. Satterfield from first was also trying to get there. And the dying quail single for Preston Green. Three out of the first four innings, Rome County has had the leadoff batter aboard. Noah Jett now as McBrayer immediately checking on the runner. Jett reached on an error in the second inning. And Green once again. Not off the bag much, McBrayer wanting to let them know that he's going to keep tabs on them. Now they're going to send Green right off the bat. The pitch gets away, and Preston in scoring position. Now McBrayer landed a breaking ball, and it went just too low. Turner Shriver behind the plate couldn't get a hold of it. Raiders with the go-ahead run now here at second. Pitch numbers high fastball, healthy cut by Jet as he'll foul it back. Count evens at one and one. McBrayer taking a look, a long look out there. He'll come with the one one check swing as Jet does not go around on that high fastball. Two and one the count. McBrayer going to step over and keep tabs green. Saw that move once before earlier. Two one pitch even higher that time. A little tight too. Jet blinking the eyes. Noah ahead in the count three and one hitters count four. Sixth in the order. The first baseman. McBrayer taking his time with that one, holding his, arm, his leg up for quite a while. That would confuse me, but McBrayer fired a strike right down the middle. Full count now to Jet. Payoff pitch. Jet fouls it back out of play. Ooh, and that truck just moved away in time. I, too, am parked over there. Scary, scary. It's the closest I've ever parked to a ball field. Full count again. Now well, they're going to send uh, Green back to the bag. McBrayer saw Green fake like he was going to take off early. Very nice pickoff move. Preston, though, quick to get back and slide in safely. McBrayer taking his time right now. Green way off the bag. He'll come with a 3-2 pitch. Breaking ball and Jet swings and misses. First outs of the top of the fourth. Sixth strikeout of the ball game for McBrayer now. Nate Martin, one of those six strikeout victims back in the second inning. And Green's got wheels on the base pass, so anything into the outfield could score Green. As the wind begins to whip around again. Green being very aggressive on the base pass right there. Another breaking pitch for McBrayer to start off Martin. Swing and a miss, strike one. And the 0-1 pitch. That one misses low in the zone. 
been a long week for Roan County, but a successful one all on the road. Roan County in the midst of quite the road trip. 1-1 one, one pitch, late to swing, 1-2. and two. Roan County started their road trip back on the 11th of April. Traveled to Webster County, then a doubleheader against Work County at Ravenswood. Clay County on the road, a doubleheader against Braxton County yesterday. Or two days ago, sorry, on the road at St. Mary's. And They're going to send Green on the first pitch to Saunders. Sliding in safely, the throw just a little left of the bag, and a nice play by Garrett Flesher to keep that one from getting into the outfield. The Raiders now with Green much closer. Base hit will score the go-ahead run as Green with the stolen base. Raiders continue to be aggressive on the base pass this season. Saunders swings, fouls the first one back against the cage, one and one. Saunders struck out swinging back in the second inning, one of three straight strikeouts for McBrayer. Uh, McBrayer going to step off the back of the rubber. Seven strikeouts for the junior right-hander. Saunders trying to deliver here in the top of the fourth. Check swing, fouls it against the netting again, behind now one and two. Leo Rogers on deck for Room County. On the one-two pitch, called strike on the outside corner. And McBrayer rocking and rolling eight strikeouts in four innings for the junior in Room County. Got Green to third, but could not score him in the top of the inning. We're still tied as we move to the bottom of the fourth. Is your grass already growing so fast it looks like a hay field? Then you need to go see the professionals at Hildra Supply. Hildra Supply has all the Shindawa equipment you need to tame that out-of-control yard. And speaking of Shindawa, don't forget about Fleet Week coming up Monday, April 29th through Saturday, May 4th. One week only, fleet deals for everyone. You can save 15% off on all Shindawa units at Hildra Supply. Visit us on the web at hildrasupply.com. Check out our Facebook page at Hildreth Oil Field Supply or stop by and see us at the store located on Route 33 in Spencer. Hildreth Supply, a hometown store with hometown ownership and proud supporter of all Roan County athletes. It's that time of year, money back from Uncle Sam, so make every dollar count and take the short drive to Honest Fred's Flooring. We have three locations, Spencer, Parkersburg, and Marietta. You'll find our showrooms fully stocked with the latest trends in flooring, carpet, vinyl, hardwood, ceramic tile, and the very popular luxury vinyl flooring. We install everything we sell and financing is available, so come see us at one of our convenient locations or check us out on the web at honestfred.com. Now at Jack Garrett Ford Parts and Service for a limited time, Motorcraft Complete Brake Service, $209 or less per axle price on most vehicles.
out. There we go. Thank you, Swolb. Check swing, dribbled down the first baseline. We've had nothing but problems here so far today. Well, we do thank a lot of people who have stepped up to help us get our canopy set up. They've brought some cinder blocks in to keep it from flying away. They've anchored it down to some metal chains. Two and two the count, off-speed pitch. Dropped by Greathouse, but he'll throw it down to first. He clutched to make sure that Jet could get to the right side where he had the better angle. And Satterfield goes down swinging. Just the third strikeout of the game for Cam Cumston. And Ryan Weekly hit it to that 6-3 double play by Ash back in the second inning. And a really nasty breaking pitch to lead off Weekly. Out in front, swinging and missing. Oh, one delivery in the dirt, or I should say in the turf, in the fake dirt. One, one, the counts. Two outs, nobody on here in the bottom of the fourth. This one ripped into the gap in right center field. That will drop in. And a two-out single delivered by Weekly. Just the third base hit given up here by Cam Cumston. And with the runner at first, the two outs, Aiden Sellers coming to the plate, the center fielder. Great House wants to talk it over real quick with Cumston. So a quick meeting just to get on the same page between the battery mates. First pitch, check on the swing, and that one a called strike to Sellers. Belt high fastball, 0 oh, and 1 the count. Oh, one pitch up the eyes and gets Sellers chasing. Umston now ahead in the count, 0 and 2. Bottom four, runner on first with two outs. O2 oh, pitch, this one hit very shallow. Right field moving in is Saunders. He'll not be able to get to it. And that will advance the runners to second and third. A bloop single from Aiden Sellers. Back-to-back -back base hits with two outs. And now you've got runners on second and third. Fourth base hit of the ball game, and that will bring up Landon Shiflitz. Lined out to center field back in the second to finish off the inning. Swings at this one, rips it right at green, though, and into the glove of Jet for out number three. No damage in the bottom of the fourth. We move to the fifth, still tied at one apiece. If you have been injured in an auto accident, don't wait to seek the compensation you deserve. At Joel Baker Law, we will work tirelessly to ensure you receive fair treatment and the maximum compensation possible. Contact us today for a free consultation, 304-500-9238. Your road to recovery starts here. As someone who played high school sports, I was able to learn the importance of hard work and being dedicated to your job. And these lessons are why it is important that we support high school athletes. I have continued to apply these lessons to my career as a prosecuting attorney for the last 15 years. And they are the same lessons, hard work and dedication that I will use every day as a circuit judge. In 2024, vote Josh Downing for circuit judge in Division Three. Paid for by the committee to elect Josh Downing, Aaron M. Nichols Treasurer. Hungry? There's only one place to go to satisfy a hunger that big any time of the day or night. McDonald's in Spencer. Choose from the famous Big Mac 
quarter pounder with cheese, add fries and sweet tea, and you've got a meal that can't be beat. Start your day off right with the best breakfast in town. McDonald's in Spencer, Egg McMuffin, Sausage Egg and Cheese Biscuit, Hot Cakes, Sausage Burrito, add a cup of premium coffee and a hash brown, great prices every day. McDonald's in Spencer, I'm loving it and so will you. Moving into the fifth inning of play, we are still tied. Roan County and Ritchie County, game one of two. A couple of base hits with two outs in the bottom of the fourth for the Rebels, but a couple of nice defensive plays from Roan County, including Preston Green on the ground ball to finish it. No runs, two hits, no errors, and two left on. Leo Rogers stepping up aggressive once again as Roan County has 9-1-2 coming to the plate. Oh, and two quickly to Rogers. This one poked down the line, foul. Oh, and two, it remains. Pitch this time missing low, one and two. McBrayer, the right-handed junior, is rocking and rolling. He has given up just two base hits so far today. He's struck out eight. Roan County batters walk just one. On the one-two pitch, check swing on the high fastball, two and two. Rogers just a freshman. Getting into right field in replacement of Jeb Painter, who is injured, three and two. Rogers battling here. And the payoff pitch missing low. Rogers, after going down in the count, zero and two, able to fight back and draw the walk. Rome County, the fourth time in five innings they have had the leadoff batter aboard. They have only been able, though, to manufacture one run off of that. That one run is at the plate now, and Carter Kinder reached on an error in the first, stole a base, and scored. This one launched into the stratosphere. And center field, very shallow, moving in nicely is Sellers for the out. Kinder just got underneath that one a little bit, and the wind was blowing it out towards the center fielder. Now the pitcher, Cam Cumston. Cumston walked, got himself... Thrown out, trying to steal second early on a 1-3-6 put out. And popped out the left field, his second plate appearance in the third. First pitch from McBrayer missing outside. one pitch, chopper towards third, very short. That's Flesher again, he'll fire the throw over in the dirt. But a great play by Satterfield to dig it out for the out. You knew that was going to be a tough play because it was a slow chopper. And Flesher fielded it nicely, threw a little low, almost hit his pitcher, actually. Two outs in the top of the fifth. Rogers able to advance, though, on the play, so... Go ahead, runner in scoring position now. And they're going to send Rodgers as the pitch gets away from Shriver behind home plate. And Rodgers advancing now to third. Golden opportunity for Cam Ash, who's one for two. Bloop single in the third inning. A 1-0 pitch called strike on the outside corner. One and one the count. Base hit, scores the go-ahead run in the top of this fifth inning. Ash swings hard at that breaking pitch. One, two. Jacob Greathouse in the on-deck circle. One, two pitch. Popped foul towards Schofield Stadium. Rome County. 
After going two and six to start, won five straight to get above 500. Lost last night in a close one at St. Mary's, eight to five. Breaking ball. This one ripped over towards the shortstop, backhanded, and no throw. Well, they'll throw late. As Lambert double clutched that throw, and that allowed Cumston, or sorry, that allowed Ash safely at first. I'm not sure if he would have been able to get that out anyway, and that will score Rogers from third. So that pass ball to get Rogers over to third could be a big difference here for Roan County as they now lead it two to one. Great House has an RBI on the double back in the first inning. He is one for two. First pitch over the head of Great House. That one comes back quickly, and they, oh gosh, I thought that they had Ash sliding. Cam did a nice job of moving his left arm out of the way and trying to tag the bag with his right hand. Still, though, from our vantage point, it looked like Shriver may have gotten him there. That was a crazy ricochet off the backstop. Gave Shriver an opportunity. Want to know the count. This one gets way over the head, and that one falls underneath the netting and in between the netting and the backstop, so that will stop play after Ash able to advance now to third. And a 2-0 count to Great House now. So a 2-0 count now to the cleanup hitter for Roan County, Jacob Great House. Roan County inching ahead here in the top of the fifth inning, 2-1. Two to one With two outs and the cleanup hitter trying to give Roan County another. McBrayer missing upstairs again, 3-0. McBrayer has only lost two batters here today by base on balls. Great House going to square it a bunt just to try to give McBrayer an odd look. Doesn't work as McBrayer fires one down the middle. Three and one the count. A pitch, ooh, swing and a miss, healthy cut. From Jacob Greathouse, the count full. Three and two. And Greathouse able to get the timeout called right before McBrayer got going on the mound. Three and two. The payoff pitch got him on the inside corner, tried to check his swing and did not do it, but Roan County earns a run, and they will move ahead here 2-1 to one as we move into the bottom of the fifth inning. McIntosh Hardware Furniture and Appliance, the store that has it all. From quality furniture, Lazy Boy, Serta, Catnapper, Appliances, Maytag, Whirlpool, Amana, KitchenAid, and Macintosh offers setup and removal, power equipment, Echo, Troy built, and in-house service, hardware, tools, paint, plumbing, electrical, pipes, and fittings. Macintosh Hardware and Appliance, 204 Market Street in Spencer, 304-927-2700. Find us on Facebook for more great deals. Hey guys, got dirty clothes? Come to Miller Suds and Sales and wash your clothes in style at our brand new laundromat with state-of-the-art machines. Located around the corner from Miller Steals and Deals. Shop while you wash, seven days a week, eight to eight. Mini Hamilton is excited to announce the opening of our Women and Maternal Care Services in Glenville. I'm Corey Grog. I'm a women's health and family nurse practitioner with Mini Hamilton Health System. We offer childbirth education classes and breastfeeding and postpartum support. Along with pre- and postnatal care, our team sees patients from birth throughout the lifespan. We are your partner in health today, tomorrow, and for life. Please call the Glenville office for more information at 304-462-7322. Thank you. 
system, better health care, better living, living Hamilton Health System, your partner in health. Rome County inching ahead in the top of the fifth inning. One run, one hit, one error, one left on. The Raiders leading at the moment. Two to one. Top of the order, though. Isaiah Lambert at the plate, squaring to Bunts. And missing at that one. One and one the count quickly. One one pitch missing upstairs. Actually, they did say that he got that pitch back. I do apologize. They'll say he did not go at the bunt, so it was 3 0. Now it is 3 and 1 after he feigned the bunt. Thompson working quickly, and that's going to turn in. And that will clip Lambert. He has been hit by a pitch twice now. That was the good shoulder, apparently, because he did not feel that one much. He'll head down to first. He represents the lone run for Richie at the moment. He got on base by being hit by a pitch in the first, stole a base, and scored on the RBI by Shriver. Shriver, one for one, walked in the third as well. They'll send Lambert on the first pitch. The throw gets away a little bit from Ash. He's able to get a glove on it and keep it in the infield, but it's another stolen base for Lambert. And the tying run now in scoring position. A 1-0 count to Shriver. Now Thompson going to give a look back there, fire it out to second. Trying to keep Lambert just a little closer to the bag if he can. one pitch, missing low. Count 2-0. Game one of two here from Ritchie County High School, Schofield and Butcher Field. A 2-0 pitch, missing away. 3-0 and oh. now to Shriver. Rio pitch, ball strike. Thompson firing back here, trying to stay in this count. Three one pitch popped up in very shallow right field. R Rogers not going to be able to get to it though, and that will allow Lambert to head to third. Green peeled off of that one pretty quickly. I think he thought that was going to head a little further out than it did, and Rogers playing a little deeper than he could get to, and that will send Triver to the bag. He is now two for two with a pair of singles, runners at the corners. Nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth, and Flesher 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Thompson backs off of the rubber. Flesher squaring to butts, pulls back, called strike, fake throw down. They will not go at Shriver. He'll head to second. And an 0-1 count now to Flesher. Oh one pitch. Drops down out of the zone. Count one and one. Boy, this wind is brutal, to say the least. And getting worse. The 1-1. One -one. Fouled off. One and two, the count. I'd say if not for the win, this would be an ideal, pristine Saturday. Dumpston from the windup. 
One two pitch, that one hammered into the gap in right center field. It's gonna get through, that's gonna score both runs. And Flesher looking to add to it. He's gonna head around to third. Here comes the throw, not in time. Flesher, a base is clearing. Triple with two RBIs and just like that, Ritchie County, after giving up the lead in the top half, they come back and they take their first lead of the ball game. So a big base hit opposite field, triple four. Garrett Flesher, two RBIs, and it's a 3-2 Ritchie County lead now in the bottom of the fifth. McBrayer, cleanup hitter. Okay, I missed something there. I was writing down the other runner scoring, so something happened, and they sent Flesher home. I'm not sure what it was, but... He ended up scoring. I can only assume that it would have been an error by Roan County, but. So I missed something there. I do apologize, folks, but it is now four to two. With the base is empty. I know enough, but I wasn't paying attention. Sorry about that, Swold. Two and one, the counts here to McBrayer. So he steps up as the pitcher, feeling a whole lot better about his situation now. Two and two. Still no outs in the bottom of the fifth here. And McBrayer stepping out of the batter's box. Gumston lobbing one in there. Might have caught the home plate umpire. Two-two pitch, swing and a miss, and Cumston earns the strikeout of the cleanup hitter. First outs of the bottom of the fifth. Fourth strikeout of the day for Cam. Grayson Hayes, designated hitter, stepping into the plate. Breaking ball right over the inside corner. That one fooled Hayes so much he was jumping out of the way. A one pitch breaking ball and just catching a piece of that one on a bunt attempt. Brayer, or sorry, Hayes fouling it off. 0 and 2. Hayes 0 for 2. Popped out to right field in the first and then did it to the left fielder in the fourth inning. 0 2 pitch, chopper towards second, fielded on a good hop, and Green lobs it into the glove of Jet at first. Two outs now here in the bottom of the fifth. First baseman, Satterfield, one for two with a single. Breaking ball, swing and a miss, and cumpson has got really nice control of that breaking pitch. Pulled the last couple of batters. Another breaking ball, that one. He may have hit that one on the ricochet off the turf. 0-2. Gumston trying to limit the damage here. The check on that run that was scored by Flesher here in a minute. He had the triple that scored two RBIs, but he got sent home after something happened. 0-2 pitch, trying to protect the plate. Satterfield catches a piece of the high heater. Fouls it into the netting. O2 pitch low and away. Count now one and two. And the wind relentless still. It's blowing from right to left across this diamond. Here comes the one two. Just a piece. Swing and a miss. No. They'll say he didn't get it. Then Great House firing down. Did not get to it. And Satterfield will be safe. At first. Hey, 
And a two-out runner aboard first. Just a tough play for Roan County there. Could have been out of the inning. Just couldn't get a hold of that one. That was a nasty breaking ball. And it went all the way back to the backstop. Greathouse barehanded it, by the way, and fired down to first, just missing the target. So weekly to the plates, one for two with a single. Two and oh the count. This one fouled off. Rome County, two more plate appearances available in the top six, top seven. Coming up in the sixth, it'll be five, six, seven. Preston Green, Noah Jett, and Nate Martin. Nice breaking pitch. Ooh, just missing outside. 3 1. Three one pitch, missing low. And a two out walk issued. Runners now at first and second. And hitter number eight in the order, Aiden Sellers. He is one for two. Raced on an error in the second, singled in the fourth. Now a quick beating by the infield and the catcher, the battery mate of Cumston. Uh, just a quick timeout by the infield, trying to pump up their pitcher here. Rome County took the lead in the top of this fifth inning with a run, but a big two RBI triple by Garrett Flesher, the third baseman, followed by something that sent him home. And uh, Ritchie County has played at three in the bottom half to take a 4-2 lead. Sellers digging in. First pitch popped up out of play. I win one the count. This one turned on and smashed out of play down the third baseline. Oh, two the count. And a time called, nope, time not given, called, strike three, and down goes Sellers. He was trying to get a timeout. The old plate umpire said, nope, already into the windup, and Rome County out of the inning. Damage done, though, in the bottom of the fifth inning. Four, four to two is your score. For the next few seconds, picture yourself retired. What do you see? What sounds do you hear? How do you feel? However you picture your retirement, planning early is the best way to make it happen. And State Farm Agent Norman L. Daniels is here in Spencer to help. He can chat with you about the kind of retirement that you want and then help you find the best ways to save for it. A little today can add up to a lot tomorrow. So get started now. Call State Farm Agent Norman L. Daniels in Spencer at 304-927-5680 and picture yourself happy. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Time has just changed. Are you ready for a change? Old Fences Realty can help with that. I'm Mike Greenlee, the broker, and I've helped thousands of people make a change in latitude. If you're thinking about selling, just give our office a call, and one of our professional, friendly agents will be there right away. We don't just put it on Facebook and hope it sells. We use technology to reach all over the world. We have well-qualified buyers waiting for your home. Old Fences Realty can even help find you a great agent wherever you're moving. So call us right away. A change of complexion here within the span of one full inning, the top of the fifth. Roan County got one run to take the lead. Two to one in the bottom half, though. Three runs across, two base hits, a couple of errors by Roan County not helping their own cause. And two left on, and now it is Ritchie County as we enter the top of the sixth inning, leading Roan County four to two. We did get an update on that play that sent Flesher home. The throw in got away from Martin and got out of play. 
So an extra base able to be taken by Flesher. Preston Green will lead it off as Roan County now looking to come from behind. Preston one for two with a single and a stolen base. First pitch from McBrayer missing away. This one chopper towards third. Fielded then dropped. And that is going to send Green to first safely. Third error of the ball game by the Rebel defense. And Roan County again. That's five times in six innings that Roan County has had the lead runner aboard. They've only scored in the first and fifth innings, respectively. Noah Jett coming to the plates, reached on an error in the second, struck out swinging in the fourth. First pitch turned on, ripped over into left field, and that is going to drop in, and Green going to hustle around. They're going to hold him at third, and Jet in with a double. A big swing of the bat. He gap shot that thing right as far away as you could get from Weekly and left and Sellers in center field. Fourth base hit of the day for Roan County, and that's the way they want to start this inning if they are trying to come back from down two. Nobody out second and third. And Nate Martin coming to the plate. First pitch to Martin called strike at the knees. Nate 0 for 2, pair of strikeouts swinging here. Base hit could tie this ball game for Martin. Swinging a little late at the fastball, fouls it against the net. 0 and 2. Now much like Ritchie County did in the last half inning, they got the first two runners aboard. And Roan County right now. With Green at third, Jet at second. 0 2 pitch, breaking ball, swinging a little late is Martin, and he'll go down for the third time, swinging. That is strikeout number 10 for McBrayer. And Gage Saunders, he has been a victim of strikeouts twice here, second and fourth innings. First pitch to Saunders up at the eyes. one -oh the counts. That pitch missing inside, gets away, but they're going to keep green. That third, very quick hustle play by Shriver behind the plate. 2-0 -oh the counts. Now, sometimes, some games, Green might test that, but down two with nobody out, with one out, sorry. Rome County with a golden opportunity. Want to try to earn it from the plate if they can. 2-0 and oh here to Gage Saunders. Flinch did not swing. That one, a chest-high fastball for strike one. Two teams will square off again right after the conclusion of game one here. 2-1 pitch. This one ripped into the gap in right center field. That's going to drop in. That will score one run, unfortunately, for Jet. He had to stay near the bag just to make sure that that play didn't get made. Gage Saunders coming through with a clutch RBI single. Green scores. Rome County to within one now. Jet able to advance to third. Runners at the corners. Rome County's fifth base hit now. And that was a big one for Gage Saunders. Swung well at that one. Leo Rogers. Had a great at bats back in the fourth or the fifth inning, sorry. McBrayer trying the fake him out, throw him out. Steps toward third, spins around. Saunders, I don't think, moved off the bag. Now a throw over, and that's going to get away. Saunders going to head to second, 
And that was, again, a smart play by Satterfield. Had he thrown that ball out the second, Noah Jett was heading towards the plate to score the tying run. Instead, Satterfield stuffed the throw, but that will advance Saunders. That takes away the opportunity for the double play as well. First pitch to Leo Rogers gets out of the zone. Got away again from Shriver, but he has been hustling back there. 1-0 and the count. The tying run here in the top of the sixth at third by Jett. The go-ahead run at second. Rogers swings hard at it just underneath the ball, though. One one pitch, breaking ball. Rogers again, aggressive, just could not connect on that one. Carter Kinder in the on deck circle. He'd love to get an opportunity here. Here comes the one two pitch called, strike three at the knees, and Rogers goes down. Two outs now. Raiders got the first two runners aboard, advancing them to second and third. Green scored on the RBI by Saunders. Jets represents the tying run. And Kinder comes to the plate. Breaking pitch stayed inside, and that actually hit him. That actually clipped Carter. I did not see that, so he won't get an opportunity to swing the bat to tie it, but he is on the base pass, and the bases right now are loaded for Roan County. Boy, this would be some really nice opportunity for Cam Cumston. Could help his own cause, could help the team here. Could be some redemption after the bottom of the sixth, or the bottom of the fifth, sorry. And the first pitch from McBrayer missing. Cumston 0 for 2 with a walk here today. This one, chopper down the line at third. That one is foul. One and one, the counts. Trying to change the score. Sorry about that, folks. 4-3 is the score. Bases loaded with two outs in the top of the sixth. Thompson with a one-one counts. McBrayer comes with the pitch, slow. Two and one. Again, Jett represents the tying run at third. Saunders, the go-ahead run at second. Two-one pitch, called strike at the knees, two and two. Biggest opportunity of the game here for Rome County. A 2-2 pitch down the middle, swung on, fouled off. Two and two, bases loaded, top six. Roan County trailing by one with two outs and a 2-2 count. Here comes the pitch, breaking ball, swung on and missed, and down it goes Roan County. They get one back, though. In the top half of the sixth, it is a one-run ball game as we move to the bottom half of the inning. Want to look good and feel good? Then stop by and see John Penna at Penna's Barbershop in Spencer on Main Street. Want a guaranteed spot? You can set up an appointment, but if time is not an option, walk-ins are always welcome. Traditional haircuts, no problem. Tapers, high and tight, flat tops, and beard trims. Or if you're looking for something new, he can do that too. Custom designs, burst fades, and mullets. That's right, West Virginia Waterfall. Keeping you styling and profiling. Penis Barbershop has been a proud supporter of Roan County and Raider Athletics since 2009. Penis Barbershop on Main Street and Spencer. Stop in, call, or text at 304-531-4218.
thrive with five at the best community bank in the Canal Valley. Boca Valley Bank. Boca Valley Bank is now offering a certificate of deposit special. 10-month APY, annual percentage yield 5%. Take advantage of this great rate to grow your savings. For more information, stop by a Boca Valley Bank location today or call 844-782-2651. Boca Valley Bank, where relationships matter. Certain terms and conditions apply. Rates based on minimum annual percentage yield. Subject to change without notice. Minimum deposit required of $10,000 of new money not currently on deposit with Boca Valley Bank to receive APY. Member FDIC. Heart disease affects so many families in our community. That's why Roan General Hospital has made expert cardiology services readily accessible close to home. From prevention and education to state-of-the-art diagnostic testing to treatment and comprehensive rehabilitation. Ask your primary care provider for a referral today. Roan General Hospital. Care you can trust close to home. We have had a dandy throughout this ball game. Neither team is led by more than two. Roan County led 1-0 in the top of the first. Tied 1-1 in the bottom by Ritchie County. Roan County got a run in the top of the fifth inning to take the 2-1 lead. Right back came the Rebels as they picked up three in the bottom of the fifth. Roan County had the bases loaded, did get one in the bottom of the sixth, or the top of the sixth, sorry. We're now in the bottom of the inning. Roan County two within one. This one dribbled towards the second baseman, Preston Green. He's been busy over there. Third put out of the ball game. Again, folks, it has been nothing but torture here so far for us. I promise you all that. I can't even get my scorebook to stay put. So Shiflet was the nine batter. Grounded out to Preston Green to begin. Back to Lambert. He has been a killer here for Roan County. He's been hit by two pitches. Has stolen two bases and has scored two of the four runs, and he is ahead in the count, 3-0. 3-0 pitch called, strike one. Lambert was trying to head down to first a little early. He will see another pitch. This one popped up over near shortstop. Cam Ash drifting back, drifting back. He'll grab it. Or out, number two. Two up, two down in the bottom of the sixth. Roan County wants to end this one quickly without any damage because they'll need one at the moment in the top of the seventh to continue. All strike one to Shriver. Shriver with that single in the last inning. He's two for two with a walk. And a hit batter here as I was looking down. Shriver hit by a pitch. So a two out hit batter and that will send a runner to the base pass and that will send the cleanup hitter Oops, sorry, that is Flesher coming to the plate. Now, Flesher was the big bat in the last inning. Ripped a triple, two RBIs, and then scored as the ball got out of play on the throw in for Roan County. So he ended up scoring on that own play. And he'll look on at a strike on the outside corner. This wind is just absolutely maddening right now. They're going to send the runner here. That one popped up over near the line in left field. And Saunders able to get to it. And it's a very fast bottom of the sixth, just like Rome County needed. Rome County will head to the top of the seventh. They need one to tie. See if they can do it after these messages. Ridge Top Rentals, located at 3502 Clay Road in Spencer, West Virginia, is the place to go for all your equipment needs. 
We have tractors, dozers, backhoes, excavators, ceramites, air compressors, straw blowers, generators, jackhammers, torpedo heaters, and much more. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can check us out on the web at ridgetoprentals.machinerytrader.com, follow us on Facebook at Ridgetop Rentals LLC, or you can call us today at 304-908-2004 or 304-927-1418. Ridgetop Rentals is a proud supporter of all Roan County Athletics. Let's go Raiders! Spring into action with Roan Self Storage. Are you feeling overwhelmed by the clutter that winter left behind? It's time for a fresh start with spring cleaning. And where better to store your treasures than Roan Self Storage? As you refresh your home and clear out those closets, remember Roan Self Storage is here to keep your belongings safe and secure. With a variety of unit sizes and 24-7 access, you can store with confidence. Not sure where to start? Here are some spring storage ideas. Seasonal gear, store your winter clothes, skis, and snowboards to make room for summer fun. Holiday decor, keep your festive decorations in perfect condition for next year. Sports equipment, make space in your garage by storing bikes, helmets, and more. Ready to make more room for spring? Call us now at 304-421-3091 or visit us at RhoneSelfStorage.com and let Roan Self Storage help you clear the way for a beautiful season ahead. We've played six complete innings, and we have got a close one here between Roan County and Ritchie County. Both teams have experienced a lead. Roan County 1-0 and 2-1. 4-2 and 4-3 for Ritchie County. A very fast top or bottom of the sixth inning for Roan County, just as they needed. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left on base. So Roan County will come to the plate in the top of the seventh, needing one run to tie it and extend the ball game. And they will have three, four, five due up here. The meat of the Roan County order, Cam Ash, Jacob Greathouse, and Preston Green. Ash coming to the plates. He is two for three, a pair of singles, an RBI in this one. And he'll swing at the first pitch and rip it down the line in right field. That could be extra bases. Ash heading around. The throw is going to be cut off. And a leadoff double for Ash. And the tying run immediately at second for Roan County. He ripped that one oppo. And in seven innings, Roan County has had the leadoff batter aboard in six of those seven. And a great opportunity here for the Raiders as Ash delivers on his third base hit of the day. This time a double. Jacob Greathouse, one for three. He ripped that double into the gap in left center field, back in the first, scoring the first run with Kinder. First pitch from McBrayer, breaking ball. Greathouse missing on the first opportunity. And a time call there for our home plate umpire. Great house wanting a little bit of extra time to think it through. Owen won the count. Tying run aboard second. They're in the top of the seventh inning. A one pitch. Breaking ball missing away. Good eye by Great House. One and one the count. The pitch, this one turned and ripped down the line. That one out of play. Boy, that Mercedes-Benz thought they were parked far enough away, but it almost clipped the front of that vehicle. One and two now to Great House. The pitch, this one golfed high into the sky. Moving in, moving in is weekly. He'll make the grab. Ash unable to tag from second. Well, Great House put a turn on it. Just didn't have enough to get it far enough out. One out now in the top of the seventh. 
Preston Green, he's been on base twice. Reached in the fourth on a single, stole a base. Reached on an error in the sixth and scored a run on the RBI by Gage Saunders. And now a meeting at the mound. And it looks like that is going to do it for the right-handed junior, Tony McBrayer. He will check out of the ball game with a one-run lead. And a great effort, great performance by the junior. We've got a new pitcher coming in. Looks like we're going to have Garrett Flesher. So we will break away while Flesher takes his warm-up pitches and we'll check the changes defensively. In the top of the seventh, the tying run for Rome County with one out aboard second base. Come into Stats Pharmacy where our patient's good health is our main concern. We have a drive through window where you can conveniently drop off and pick up your prescriptions and over-the-counter medications. Refill your prescriptions anytime online at www.statspharmacy.com or from your iPhone or Android phone using the Refill RX mobile app. No waiting in long lines. Just call ahead and your order will be waiting for you. We look forward to serving you at Stats Pharmacy, located at 100 East Main Street in Spencer. You can call us at 304-927-2980. The sun is shining, the peepers are singing, and the grass is a growing. Spring has sprung, and now's the time to get your mower up and running. It won't be long until that grass is going to need a mowing. The first shipment of fresh batteries has arrived at Willard Sea Starchers just in time to kick off their annual lawn and garden battery sale. Stop by Willard Starchers today and get powered up with a fresh battery at a great price. Help this mowing season run smoothly by adding a can of seafoam to your fuel tank before you crank that engine. Come on down to the annual spring lawn and garden battery cell and let Willard Starchers put some spring in your step. Give us a call, 927-2520, open seven days a week. We welcome you back here in the top of the seventh inning. Schofield Butcher Field, a new pitcher for Ritchie County. And what an outing for the right-handed junior, Tony McBrayer. He will finish the ball game with a one-run advantage. He is responsible for the runner on second. Six and a third innings, faced 31 batters, struck out 12, walked only two, gave up seven hits, and three earned runs. Again, he is responsible for the tying run at second should Cam Ash score. Preston Green coming to the plate. First pitch missing low. Boy, it got away for a second from Shriver. But again, he has really been hustling behind the plate. That time Ash did not want to test the waters. 1-0 the count to Green. Preston 1-3. for three, Reached on an error. Reached on a single. Has stolen a base. This one missing. No called. Strike. Got away again. This time Ash will head. Over to third, so things getting very, very interesting now. Ash must score here for Roan County to extend this ball game. Right now it is four to three in favor of Ritchie County. Garrett Flesher, the new pitcher. And McBrayer and Flesher just flip-flopped. So McBrayer over at third, one and one the count. Green looking to try to tie it here in the top of the seventh with one out. One one pitch missing away two and one. Flesher into the wind up the two one pitch called strike again. Ooh. Two and two. On deck is Noah Jett. The 2-2 two -two pitch, breaking ball, gets away. Here comes Ash. He's going to slide in safely. The wild pitch got away, and Ash was on his horse, got to the plate to advance of the throw. And the Raiders have tied it here in the top of the seventh, 4-4. Four, four. Okay. 
Three and two, the count to Green. Now he could get on base. He would represent the go-ahead run. A pitch from Flesher down the middle, ripped into the gap. And Green now aboard. Green now two base hits here on the afternoon. And he represents the go-ahead run with Noah Jett coming to the plate. Jett ripped a double in the last plate appearance. Back in the last inning. Green has wheels on the base pass as well. Flesher realizing, steps off the back to keep tabs on his opposition over at first. They're going to send Green on the first pitch. Here comes the throw down, not in time. Preston Green swipes second. His second stolen base of the ball game, and now the go-ahead run in scoring position for the Raiders. 0-1, oh, the count to Noah Jets. A base hit into the outfield could score the go-ahead run. Here's the pitch. This one chopped towards very shallow shortstop, fielded by the third baseman, McBrayer. He'll take the out, but Jet able to advance. Green over to third now, and again, we have seen some wild pitches here. Two outs now here in the top of the seventh, the go-ahead run, represented by Preston Green, just a short distance from home. So Jet able to put one in play and advance the runner on the sacrifice. Nate Martin, boy, is this young man due today. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts all swinging. First pitch to Martin. Gets away. Here comes Green. He'll slide in safely. Another wild pitch. And Preston Green with the wheels. Slides head first into the plate in front of the throw. And the Raiders have come back and taken the lead in the top of the seventh. Boy, how things have turned here in the inning. A couple of base hits. Cam Ash led it off with the double, ended up scoring on a wild pitch to tie the ball game. Green singled, stole second, moved on to third with the sacrifice by Jett and then scores himself on yet another wild pitch. What a wild contest this has been. One and one, the count to Martin. Now Martin rips one over the head of the second baseman. Wouldn't have mattered if Green got home before or not as Martin finally breaks through with a big play. He was 0 for 3 before that hit. He ripped it opposite field, and the inning will continue for the Raiders. Going to get a pinch runner here for Martin. Alex Richardson will come in to run. Just a crazy turn of events here for Roan County. But again, there is still the bottom of the seventh looming with Ritchie County coming to the plate. Gage Saunders, who just had himself a huge base hit. Looks on at the first pitch on the inside corner called strike one. Saunders stepped up 0 for 2 in that sixth inning, ripped an RBI single to get Roan County back to within 4-3. Some very timely hits here for the Raiders. They're gonna send Richardson. The throw down, not in time, and Alex Richardson earns a stolen base. That is the MO for Roan County this year. They have been extremely aggressive on the base pass. And now Saunders with a base hit has an opportunity to add to Roan County's cause here in the top of the seventh. Base hit, that one turned on. They're playing him right there, though. Boy, they had the shift on. They had Sellers playing 
basically in the gap in left center field. And he will rob Saunders of a, another base hit. But Roan County gets two in the top of the seventh, and they now lead it 5-4 to four as we move to the bottom half. I'm Circuit Judge Anita Harold Ashley, and I'm seeking re-election. In 2016, the voters at this circuit selected me to this important judicial seat, and I've been honored to serve, presiding over the courts of Rome, Calhoun, Jackson, and Mason counties. An examination of my record will show that in my eight years as judge, I've worked hard to provide fair, efficient, and partial court, treating all who appear before me with dignity and respect. I'm proud to have been chosen by my fellow judges to serve as president of the West Virginia Judicial Association and to have been selected as West Virginia Judge of the Year by CASA for my work with abused and neglected children. Before being elected judge, I had a very successful long-time law practice and I handled a wide variety of cases. I have the experience necessary to serve in this essential position. I would appreciate your vote and support in the May 14th election. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Judge Anita Harold Ashley, Kate J. Burbank, Treasurer. Hi, I'm Ben Ashley from Ashley Insurance. Let's talk life insurance. It's not just about numbers, it's about peace of mind. Picture this. Would your family be able to continue on financially if you weren't there? Life insurance can be the answer, and our team is ready to help you. We've got affordable coverage and expert guidance because your peace of mind is our priority. So don't wait for the unexpected. Call Ashley Insurance at 304-927-2175 or visit ashleyinsurers.com. We welcome you back to uh, School Field at Butcher Field here on the campus of Ritchie County High School. My, how things have changed throughout this contest. Roan County led 1-0 in the top of the first. Ritchie got it back in the bottom half. Roan County scored one in the top of the fifth to take the 2-1 lead. Three by Ritchie County in the bottom half to take the 4-2 lead. Roan County got one back in the sixth, make it 4-3. Able to get out of the bottom of the sixth quickly. Into the seventh, they needed one to tie. Cam Ash ripped a leadoff double. He ended up scoring on a wild pitch to tie it. Preston Green singled, stole second, ended up at third on a sacrifice by Noah Jett and scored himself on another wild pitch. So Roan County now in front, looking to try to win this thing late, but it'll be Tony McBrayer to lead it off. He is now the third baseman, four, five, and six, and it is Preston Green coming in to try to finish it off here. Cam Cumpson. Moves over to second. McBrayer swings and misses on the next one. One and one, the count to McBrayer. Green looking for the breaking pitch, misses. Two and one, McBrayer at the moment 0 for 3. Grounded out, flew out, and struck out. 2-1, called strike on the outside corner. Now Green has done a lot offensively here. He's done plenty defensively. Three put outs. And now he is called upon to try to close it out for Rome County. McBrayer stepping out of the batter's box for a second. Two two pitch popped up foul territory. Great House rips the mask off, but that one will get out of play. And bottom of the seventh inning. Rome County trying to close it out. Ritchie County trying to make another comeback. Another two two pitch. This one golfed out of the turf, high into the sky. Moving over is Rogers, and Leo makes a huge play. Steps in front of Kinder. They had him shaded towards the center field area, and that is about as close as you could get to where McBrayer put it. Very nice play by Rogers. First outs of the inning recorded. Now Brayson Hayes. He's 0 for 3, a pair of pop outs, one to left, one to right, and then a ground out to Green when he was at second. First pitch, breaking ball, hit to second base again, fielded by Cumston, and he's going to lob it across for the outs. Roan County now just an out away here. 
from a late comeback victory. Standing in their way, though, is Bryce Satterfield. He is 1-4-3 here today. Singled in the second, struck out in the fourth, struck out again in the fifth, but the wild ball got away, and he ended up with the base at first on the air. First pitch, breaking ball, swing and a miss, Satterfield on top of it. Owen won the count. Green rocks and fires, just missing a little low there. Count one and one. Green comes with the breaking ball. This one chopped right at the first baseman into the mitt of Jet. He holds it high to say, yes, I've got it in the glove. And a check swing shot to first is how this one will end. What a ball game number one. And what an incredible late game comeback for Rome County here in game number one. Rome County wins it. They'll improve to eight and seven on the season we'll break away for our sponsors we'll come back we'll recap the first ball game give you your statistics and we'll have your let's see start to auto parts players of the game after this there are people in this country work hard you work hard for your money, and lately the cost of everything has soared, making some of those dreams and goals even harder to reach. And at Board Depew Realty, we realize that. We understand that buying a house can be financially stressful, especially with all the hurdles lenders require. That's where we come in. With our small staff of four, we offer you over 100 years of combined experience. We work as a group to get you close and in your home quickly. We'll find creative ways when others may have given up to make your dream a reality. But most importantly, we remain your friend after the sale is complete. We'll continue to help you long after the deal is closed. And that is what we take pride in. It's more than just a job to us at Board Depew Realty. It's a job that we love, and we love the people who allow us into their lives. Buying or selling a home can be stressful, but not if you let Board Depew guide you. You work hard for your money, and how you spend it matters. Hello, Ford Depew Realty, serving you since 1958, 304-927-3250. This preventive dental care tip comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental, conveniently located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. Dental professionals recommend brushing twice a day, every day, with a fluoride toothpaste for two minutes and flossing once a day, every day as well. This easy, affordable preventive dental care routine can save you money by promoting good dental health and preventing costly dental treatment. Call Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 for your dental appointment. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual deals on wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at CalhounBanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CalhounBanksWV. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Rome County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. 
We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Come on down to D&D Motors and see Dan for your next quality used car. And for everyone who already has a used car, come and see Donna and her team of mechanics at D&D Customer Care for all your maintenance needs, from oil change to brakes and tires to alignments and everything in between. D&D, we are a full-service business that can meet all of your automotive needs. Call the dealership at 304-519-2157 or D&D Customer Care for your next appointment at 304-927-5688. Since 2019, DW Excavating has been serving Roan and surrounding counties. We offer services including, but not limited to, repairing driveways, construction site preparation, drainage solutions, property brush clearing, farm road construction, culvert repair and installation, and utility line installation and repair. We provide free estimates. Check out our Facebook page or contact us at 304-532-2968 for more information. DW Excavating, taking pride in our work and in our community. DW Excavating is a proud supporter of Auburn County High School Athletics. Go Raiders! This is Lady Raider Volleyball and Softball player Mahaley Nicholson for Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Since 2016, ECI has provided West Virginia with top-notch service for both home and commercial needs. We pride ourselves on working closely with our clients to ensure that projects are completed in a timely manner, that customer expectations are met, or in many cases exceeded. Regardless of the job size, we have solutions for everyone. We specialize in septic systems, brush removal, dirt work, asbestos removal, and more. Check us out on the web at www.ecidwv.net or contact us for a quote at 304-532-7653. Fax number 304-532-7653. Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Ed Nicholson, owner, West Virginia Contractors License 055775. This is Ashton Rhodes, Chronic Care Manager at Roan County Family Healthcare. Are you struggling to control your blood pressure, lower your A1C, or manage other chronic health conditions? Do you ever feel overwhelmed or unsure after an office visit and need some extra help? If that's you, we can help. Roan County Family Healthcare is now providing chronic care management services for qualifying patients. By enrolling in our services, you will receive one-on-one -on -one consultation, an individualized comprehensive care plan, education, monthly check-ins, and more. All of this will allow you access to your care team easily for questions, concerns, or follow-up. So are you ready to team up and find a healthier version of you? Give me a call at 304-927-8139. My office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Let me help you manage your chronic conditions. Room County kind of Family Healthcare, healthcare for the entire family. We welcome you back to Ritchie County High School, School Field and Butcher Field as Roan County wins it in comeback fashion. This was a very solid ball game for both sides. It was a pretty good pitcher's duel, a lot of great defense, some issues errors-wise, but neither team got away from each other throughout this contest. It started in the top of the first inning. Roan County got the leadoff runner aboard in Carter Kinder on an error. He stole the base, ended up at third, and scored. On an RBI double by Jacob Greathouse, Roan County got things going with a 1-0 lead. Right to that back came Ritchie County in the bottom half of the inning. Leadoff hitter Isaiah Lambert was hit by a pitch. He stole a base and scored on an RBI by Turner Shriver. So it was 1-1 one one after 1. Neither team was able to put anything on the board in the second, third, and fourth innings respectively. In the top of the fifth, Roan County got the leadoff walk by Leo Rogers. And then he ended up scoring on Cam Ash's RBI single. So Roan County led 2-1 to one going into the bottom of the fifth. That is when things lit up for the Ritchie County Rebels. It was the leadoff runner again, Isaiah Lambert, hit by a pitch once again, stole a base again. Then Turner Shriver 
singled, so he had runners at the corners. That's when Garrett Flesher stepped to the plate, hit an opposite field rip shot that scored both runners. He made it to third. The throw came in from the outfield. It got away from Martin at third. It ended up going out of play, so Flesher was able to head home on the extra base. After that inning, three hits, sorry, three runs, two hits, two Roan County errors, and Roan County trailed after five innings, four to two. Roan County got one back in the top of the sixth inning uh, on an RBI single from Gage Saunders, a clutch base hit for him that scored Preston Green, who had reached earlier on an error. So we moved into the seventh inning. Roan County was trailing four to three. They got a leadoff double from Cam Ash. He ended up scoring on a wild pitch to tie the ball game. And then after that, Preston Green got a base hit. He stole second. He moved to third on a sacrifice by Noah Jett, and then he ended up heading home himself on a wild pitch to give Roan County the 5-4 to four lead. At that point, we moved to the bottom of the seventh inning as Green came in to replace Cam Cumston. He got McBrayer to pop fly out to Rogers in right. A ground ball put out by Cam Cumston at second to Hayes, and then a... Line drive on a check swing from Bryce Satterfield right to the first baseman, Noah Jett, a 1-2-3. Bottom of the seventh, and Roan County closes it out with a very, very nice comeback victory. Roan County now 8-7 and seven on the season. Richie County now 4-9. and nine. Taking a look at the box scores, Roan County scores five on nine base hits, three errors for the Raiders defensively. For Richie County, four runs on six hits. Roan County had five, or sorry, Richie Kenny had five errors defensively in the field. Three of those five were wild pitches. They had a very nice day here today. Uh, innings, uh, six innings of work. He five walked two, did hit two batters, actually three batters, I apologize. Gave up six hits, four runs. All four were earned. Preston Green gets the save, one inning of work, three batters faced. He gave up nothing, no runs, no hits, no errors. Did not strike out any of them, did not walk. Any of them, McBrayer takes the loss here in this one. He went six and a third innings of tremendous work. I'm sorry, no, he takes the no decision. I do apologize for that, no decision. Went six and one third innings of work, faced 31 batters. He struck out 12, only walked two, gave up seven hits, four earned runs for McBrayer, including Cam Ash, which is why he did get the no decision. Flesher came in, worked just two-thirds of an innings. Faced four batters, gave up two hits, one earned run in that one. Individually for Roan County at the plates, Carter Kinder 0 for 3 officially with a run scored, a stolen base. He was hit by a pitch. Cam Cumpson 0 for 3 with a walk. Cam Ash had the big bat here today, 3 for 4 with an RBI, a double, and a run scored. Jacob Greathouse 1 for 4 with an RBI double as well. Preston Green 2 for 4 with a pair of runs, a pair of stolen bases. Noah Jett 1 for 4 with a double and a sacrifice. Nate Martin got a base hit here, 1 for 4. And Alex Richardson came in to pinch run for him. Richardson with a stolen base. Gage Saunders 1 for 4 with a big RBI back in the 6th inning. And then Leo Rogers 0 for 2 officially with a walk and a run score. That is how it breaks down. One final break for Willard C. Starch Auto Parts. Come back, dish out the player of the game award, and we'll get ourselves set for the second of two here after this. My truck breaks won't work, and I can't get to work. So I call him Starchers, the best place for parts. They have what I needed, at the price out of the line. Now my truck's stopping quickly, and everything's all right. That's right. Willard Starchers has the parts that you need and the quality cell staff to help you get it fixed. Willard Starchers, the best place for parts and the best staff to help you. That's very important. Dial 927-2520. Open seven days a week. Willard Starchers. We welcome you back to Ritchie County High School. Game number one in the books, Roan County. A comeback victory in the top of the seventh inning. They took the lead 5-4 in the top of the seventh and got out at 1-2-3 in the bottom half to get their eighth victory of the season. 
As Ritchie County falls now to four and nine, the two teams breaking away here for just a minute, and they'll get set for game number two, as we will as well. Before we do that, got to dish out our Willard Sea Start Your Auto Parts players of the game. First off defensively, it was a bit of an up-and-down afternoon for Cam Cumson, but he really did a good job of managing, maintaining himself, and scattering six hits throughout the six innings of work that he produced. Gave up four earned runs, but he struck out some batters struck out five, walked two, did hit three, but uh, I think that he really did a great job of managing the ball game and keeping Roan County close, but he didn't do it alone, got a lot of help from his defense. Specifically, you got to give a nod again to Preston Green. He had four putouts defensively in the field, and he came in, worked that one inning of relief, went one, two, and three, three up, three down to get the save. So congratulations to Cam Cumston, Preston Green, our defensive players of the game on offense. Got to go with the big bat here today. Cam Ash, three for four with an RBI, a double, and a run scored. He scored the tying run after 